year was 2027. Advances in biotechnology were helping people improve their physical and mental abilities to an amazing degree. Provided, of course, they had enough money. A new breed of people was emerging, half human, half machine. And in Detroit, at least, not everyone was happy to see it. I'd just landed a job as head of security at Seraph Industries, a cutting-edge biotech firm. David Seraph himself handpicked me for the job, said he needed me to keep his people safe. My ex, Megan Reed, was one of them. Brilliant neuroscientist, Megan had found a way to make augmentation safe and affordable for everyone. All she had to do was present her research to Congress. But the night before her big meeting, my security measures failed. A team of black op mercenaries stormed into Seraph headquarters, massacring everyone in sight. Three of the mercs were heavily augmented walking tanks. Their mission? Take out Megan and her team. I tried to stop them, but their leader tossed me through a plate glass wall. Last thing I heard as his bullet slammed into my brain was Megan's dying scream. I should have died with her. Only I didn't. High-end military-grade enhancements saved my life. The best augmentation Seraph's money could buy. It took me half a year to get a feel for her. Should have taken longer. But six months into my recovery, Seraph Industries was attacked again. This time, by a radical group of pro-human purists. Violent, militant, and fanatically opposed to human augmentation, they claimed to be members of Humanity Front, a non-profit organization that wanted the UN to limit biotechnology research. The thugs broke into Seraph's factory and found machinists working overtime on a top-secret military augment called the Typhoon. Seraph sent me to retrieve it. And when I did, I found one of the so-called purists next to it, wired with cerebral implants, trying to download its classified specs. Obviously, something more was going on. The Og killed himself before I could question him. Seraph ordered me to dig deeper. So with the help of Frank Pritchard, Seraph's head of cybersecurity, I did. Turns out a second hacker I've been controlling the Og's actions from somewhere off-site. Pritchard and I tracked his signal to a secret FEMA internment camp in Detroit. The Black Op mercenaries were there. The same mercs who'd left me for dead six months before. Figured they'd try again when they saw me. It wasn't so easy for them this time. I took out the tank named Barrett. Even got him to give me a new lead. A penthouse apartment in China. Of course, we both knew it would be a trap in the end. Hengsha Island, China. Home to a city so crowded, they had to build a second city on top of it. Trying to find clues in Hengsha wouldn't be easy. Lucky for me, I wasn't alone. Farida Malik, Seraph Industries' ace pilot, had lived in Hengsha before. A good person to have on your side. She knew enough about the place to get me around. Malik dropped me in the lower city, close to the penthouse Barrett had told me about. Bell Tower Associates, a private security firm under contract to the Chinese government, had agents tossing the suite when I arrived. Just not for the reason I'd been expecting. Turns out the man who lived there was a criminal hacker named Van Bruggen. The same hacker who'd been remotely controlling the AUG in Sarah's factory. Van Bruggen's panic decision to force the man to commit suicide had been a mistake. Now his mercenary partners were gunning for him, and I needed to find him before they did. Locating Van Bruggen meant playing nice with the triads, Hengsha's organized crime lords. They had the hacker holed up inside a low-rent capsule hotel. By the time I found him, Van Bruggen had no qualms giving up the woman who hired him. Zhao Yun Ru president of the Taiyang Medical Corporation. According to Van Bruggen, Zhao wanted to monopolize the augmentation industry and had hired black op mercenaries to destabilize her competition. Seraph Industries was at the top of her list. To prove this, I needed to get inside TYM and grab a surveillance hologram off a server. 
I suspected Van Bruggen was hiding something when he told me this. But nothing could have prepared me for what I saw. Megan wasn't dead. She and her four best researchers had been kidnapped. Spirited away somewhere while their kidnappers made it look like they were dead. Desperate to learn more, I confronted Zhao in her penthouse. She claimed to be a pawn in a bigger plan, and hinted at a group so powerful it controlled global interests at a whim. Then she slipped into a panic room and hit the alarm, forcing me to make a very quick exit. I figured Zhao was lying, but part of her confession made sense. David Seraph had been worried about his people. So worried, he'd required all of them to have subdermal locator devices surgically implanted. The GPLs would have been broadcasting the day of the attack. But Zhao sent a single call to Picus, the world's leader in global 24-hour satellite news, that turned those signals off. I needed to fly to Picus headquarters in Montreal if I wanted to learn more. Eliza Kassan. Pikus Communications' first lady of news. Malik thought I was reaching when I told her Eliza was involved in this. The world's most famous news anchor, working with a mercenary hit squad. But when I confronted Kassan in her office, she freely admitted to jamming Detroit satellites the night Megan's team had been taken. Said she's just been following her commands. I suspected she wanted to say more. But Black Op mercenaries showed up, looking to shut us both down. And just like that, the Eliza I'd been talking to disappeared. The mercs were led by an augmented killer I crossed paths with twice before. Fedorova. A woman who'd made silence her best friend. She waited for me to track Eliza's transmission to a secret server room underneath the Picus complex, then jumped me from behind. A deadly fight ensued. I made sure she never moved silently again. With Fedorova down, and no one left to keep Eliza quiet, she reappeared. Turns out Picus' first lady of news wasn't a lady at all. She was a sophisticated AI program, engineered to monitor data streams and control what people believed. Eliza told me the Mercs had brought in a humanity front doctor named Isaiah Sandoval to remove the scientists' implanted tracking devices while Detroit's satellites were down. She also told me to speak to David Sarah if I wanted to learn more. By the time Malik and I got back to Detroit, tensions between normal and augmented citizens had reached a flashpoint. Riots were breaking out in several cities, and the UN was being urged to intervene. Seraph was trying hard to convince Hugh Darrow the inventor turned philanthropist who'd once been a leading proponent of enhancement technologies to help stop a possible regulatory vote. Sarif had a lot riding on Darrow. Megan's discovery would have given millions of people the chance to evolve beyond their normal human abilities, and at the same time catapulted Sarif Industries to the top of the Fortune 500. According to Sarif, Megan's kidnappers knew this, and didn't want people evolving unless they controlled how it was done. He called his enemies Illuminati, and urged me to keep searching. Determined to do so, I tracked down Sandoval via America's most outspoken augmentation opponent, Bill Taggart, Sandoval's boss and founder of Humanity Front. Sandoval admitted to operating on Megan's team when I confronted him, but said he hadn't removed their GPLs. He'd merely switched them to a different frequency. Pritchard was able to trace one of the signals to China, Malik and I immediately took off in pursuit. Unfortunately, the Illuminati were one step ahead. Ambushed. Shot out of the sky by Bell Tower Associates, seconds after entering anxious airspace. Malik's piloting skills saved me. After a tense and bitter struggle, I escaped into the Lower Anxia. The tracking signal I was following led straight to the triads, or more specifically, to the augmented arm of Tong Si Hung, leader of a gang of augmentation harvesters. Tong said they'd taken the arm off a corpse, which Bell Tower had left at their door, meaning at least one of Seraph's scientists was dead. Maybe not the rest of them, though. 
Tong pointed me to a port used for human trafficking and helped me slip aboard a bell tower ship. We were sailing to Rifleman Bank Station, a military base in the South China Sea. Bell Tower was holding kidnapped civilians as prisoners there, and using them to perfect the Hyron Project, a human-computer interface that left most of its test subjects dead. My search for Megan would have ended then, if not for a mysterious ally named Quinn. In exchange for my help exposing Bell Tower, he slipped me aboard a second ship headed to Singapore, and an Illuminati-run biotech facility called Omega Ranch. Three of Seraph's scientists were there, forced by their captors to create a technology capable of remotely shutting down augmented abilities. Thanks to an emergency recall notice issued by the World Health Organization, millions of people all over the world already had the biochip installed. With the help of the scientists, I tracked Megan to a private section of the ranch. There, I ran into Yaron Namir, the walking tank who put a bullet in my brain the first time we met. He'd teamed up with Zhao and was hoping to catch me off guard. But a little ambush didn't work. I found Megan in a suite belonging to Hugh Darrow, the billionaire philanthropist who Sarif had called on for help. Darrow had convinced her to go along with the biochip plan by promising to sabotage the tech. As she was explaining this, Darrow appeared in a global broadcast telling the world that augmentations would be the death of mankind. Then he activated the biochips to prove his point. All over the world, augmented people flew into a killing frenzy. Darrow had betrayed everyone, and it was up to me to set things right. To do it, I had to reach Panchea, a massive installation in the Arctic Ocean. As I raced through corridors built by an all-augmented workforce, I saw death and destruction firsthand. By the time I shut down Darrow's broadcast, I knew the damage he'd done. Still, humanity's future remained unclear. How would the world react to this sabotage? Would people ever regain their faith in augmentations again? What would be the Illuminati's next move? Only time to give us the answers. now, Hansa. Are ya? Well, if I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Agent Jensen! Am I gonna have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. Good. Because you are the only augmented operative on this team, and I intend to make good use of you. Listen up, all of you. We got a sandstorm barreling down our ass, and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex-Bell Tower, one of the Special Forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military-grade augments to terrorists. This is Aran Singh, the undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole. Best you see Interpol's got. 
but three years he's worked hard to get in tight with the gin, an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, our arms dealer sent a message to the gin, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle a buy. They're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts their party. Is things cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, things got gruesome real fast. And no one, except for some homeless junkies, have been inside the place ever since. So what's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level, a halfway decent elevator shaft, here. I want you to block access to it. Fine. Just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? I'd recommend taking a little hardware, just to be sure. I'm not leaving my six exposed. Give me something lethal. Your call, but Singh's undercover in all this. So watch your fucking sights. What about range? There's lots of wide spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. Well, I'm not looking to play dice with anyone in there. Give me something with distance. Your call. Less chance of being seen and compromising Singh that way. One last thing, Jensen. Singh said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. I'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the Jin out of that atrium. Copy that. Time to put away your happy thoughts, gentlemen. We're approaching the target building. You're up first, Jensen. Let's do this. Task Force Actual. This is Knife Leader. Engage hush drives and descend to... Team leader, this is Jensen. I'm on the roof. Solid copy. Move into the building. The access route you need to block is at the far end of the penthouses. And keep in mind, the direct route might not be the easiest one. Roger that. McCready will advise once his team is on the ground. Miller out.
Jensen, we're moving through. Oh, fuck. What's wrong? The Jin have got a few Jennies up and running. Gonna have to hack keypads. Should enjoy it, McCready. They have colors and shapes. Just remember, red means bad. Fuck you. Granted.
Jensen, Mac, listen up. Doppler shows that sandstorm's moving in fast. It's big, and it's gonna hit us hard. God, I hate the fucking desert. Confirm visual? I can. Time is not on our side. Copy that. Solid copy. Creedy, how you making out? Slower than expected. It's like someone stole the fucking cemetery down here. Say again? When the shit hit the fan in 27, the rush must have been for the stairs. There's corpses everywhere. A lot of your cousins are here too, Jensen. You want me to grab you any spare parts? No parts. But I take mine with cream and two sugars while you're asking. Watch your 20. Working my way through the penthouses. Remember to keep an eye out for the Jin's communications booster. If you can, disable it. Roger that. Keep your head down.
Jensen. Watch your 20. Working my way through the penthouses. Remember to keep an eye out for the Jin's communications booster. If you can, disable it. Roger that. Listen up, everyone. Chang's hacked into the Jin's radio signal. Checking the patch now. We should be hearing Sing any second. Khalil, the guy who will tell us about the things coming soon. Go to the house of the people that I have with you, and let them be waiting for you. Patch is clean. Solid copy. Good. I'll re-patch us once the deal kicks off. Jensen, we're inside the atrium, taking up positions on the terraces. What's your 20? Still moving. Well, hurry the fuck up. Enemy helo is inbound, and this sandstorm's getting close. You get that comms booster disabled? Negative. Didn't find it. Well, you better hope Singh's cover stays intact. Otherwise, you'll be answering to me. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Jensen. Penthouse access route secure. Jin shouldn't be a problem. Over. Copy that. About fucking time. Enemy helo sighted. All right, strike force. Position and hold. Strike one, in position. Strike two, all set. Strike three, yeah. Strike four, in position and holding, boss. Eyes up, safety's off, guys. Yeah, no shit, brown nose. Watch your fucking mouth, Halliday. Both of you, shut up. Five in position. Everybody stay sharp. Singh's got eyes on Shepard. Patching you in now. Target's in the AO. Remember, Singh's down there, so watch your fire. You got balls, Singh? Executing a buy with a sandstorm on her ass. I cannot take credit for Mother Nature, mister. You can call me Shepard. How biblical. Are these the weapons? The Orgs. They're getting harder to come by. Guns are still on the chopper. Show me the cash quick and we'll... Oh, what the...? <laughs> <laughs> Oh! 
part was Mikhash. Shepard is dead. What? By who? What's going on down there? Miller, this isn't the Jin. Repeat, it's not the Jin. They're after the weapons. Open fire! Open fire! Weapons free! Open up our... Agreed. Make it a grab for the chopper. You got a shot? Negative. Negative. We're under heavy fire down here. We can't let that chopper take off, Jensen. I got it. This is bad! They're closing in! We're gonna lose Singh! Jensen, I can't reach him! <laughs> Jensen, this sandstorm might have just bought us some time, but you need to disable that chopper! Copy that. Miller, chopper's been grounded. Repeat. Jensen! You're welcome. Shit. Size computers. Human controlled evolution available to all. We will merge with machines, with computers. When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you. No, stop! And plan. Scenes of horror on the streets of Detroit. Kind of madness has gripped mechanically augmented people. Shanghai, Los Angeles, Ankara, Dubai. People are dying out there. Millions of people. Search for survivors in Pangea has been downgraded to a recovery mission. The Czech Republic leads a growing list of countries calling for the relocation of its augmented citizens. It's a new world, Adam. It's afraid of people like us. Bust into safe and secure. Separate industries closed its doors. I didn't think it would end with the AUG incident, did you? We were victims. This is retribution for a tragedy we could not control. They buried the truth with this information. Multiple detonations. Looks like horror bombs. Another terrorist attack, this time in a police station. The United Nations Security Council has tasked the new anti terrorist hold. intelligence and response team will have all the Task Force 29. Agent Jensen. I won't let it happen again. What have the events in Dubai cost us? They knew the risks. How many assets did we lose? All of them. The sandstorm didn't help. The mission was a success. Clearly, your scale for success is a generous one. However, the erratic nature of the attack could work to our advantage. 
Interpol will be confused for weeks, and with our continued guidance, the people will come round eventually. We are all in this for the long game, after all. That's never changed. You think so? Do I need to remind you all how far we have veered off course? The Og incident has caused a schism in society. Things are worse than we projected, and growing more unstable every day. This will not be tolerated. To ensure the success of our vision, the disruptive elements must be excised. No one here disagrees with you. But let me fly to New York and I will personally evaluate the situation. We may already have the votes we need to ensure that the Human Restoration Act passes. Very well. Stanton, you accompany. We may need to exert financial as well as political pressure to silence anyone opposed. Proceed. Elizabeth, I'll contact you later. It won't succeed, Lucius, even with Dowd's money. You know what Rand will find in New York? Weak, ineffectual men. And with Nathaniel Brown still an unknown factor. Of course. That is why we're proceeding with our ultimate strategy. You have claimed much in the past, Huge. This is your chance to deliver. Everything is in place. We can initiate whenever you wish. I'll secure your communications, Bob. Jaina seems to have eyes everywhere these days. He and his juggernaut collective... Janus won't be an issue. I've made arrangements. I laid the foundations. Now it is time to get everyone's attention. Age. Activate the sleep cell. Stanice Růžičkovo nádraží. Příjezd za pět minut. Jensen, just getting off the train now. Copy that. We'll debrief when you get in. You're coming straight to the office? Unless there's a problem at a checkpoint. Your papers should be in order. Just keep your head down. Miller out. about Dubai? Yeah. I'm glad you're all right, Adam. That ambush sounded pretty bad, man. Not something I was expecting, that's for sure. Any idea who hit us? Well, I'm sure your task force will come up with something, and that it won't be what the Juggernaut Collective digs up. Kind of odd, though, don't you think? Interpol sending your team, the Prague team, to Dubai in the first place? Miller said they were scrambling. Last minute intel. We were the only strike team available. Yeah, well, that's a lie. Better get moving. The Collective has been keeping tabs on all task force divisions ever since we slipped you into one of them. They've got a team in Oman, and a hell of a lot faster than you guys. So why send us? I don't know. 
If the task force is an Illuminati front, we all suspect. It doesn't make much sense to send it into an ambush. Unless they wanted our team to see something. Officially. Don't make a scene, Adam. Wouldn't dream of it, Alex. It's gone even worse here in the past few days. Everyone looking over their shoulder. Terrified dogs like us are going to attack them again. Somebody probably will. Treat people like animals long enough, they'll start acting like animals. You say that like there's nothing we could do to stop it. I already tried two years ago. It didn't work out so well. So what? Are you saying we should just give up? Let hatred and prejudice take over? To hell with that. I'm saying I can only go after enemies I see, Alex. The men who caused all this, the true power brokers, they're the ones I need to stop. I thought you knew that. I do. You, me, the Juggernaut Collective, we're all trying to stop them. It doesn't mean turning a blind eye to Then help me find them. about Dubai, about the Illuminati needing your team as witnesses, then we need to find out why. Who gave you the order to mobilize? Miller did. But it probably came from someone higher up the chain. Doesn't mean he's not in on it. Ever heard of the NSM? The neural subnet, sure. In TF-29, directors use it to plan ops and communicate privately in cyberspace. What's this? Whisper chip, custom made wiretap device. Janus designed it to fit inside the NSN's motherboard. Ah, the elusive Janus, leader of the hacktivists. Am I ever gonna meet this guy? Someday, maybe. Right now, you need to concentrate on Miller and find a way to access the NSN's motherboard. Feeling. A little sore, but uh, 
I'll be all right. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. I've been through worse. Jesus, how fucked up is that to think, huh? Listen, Alex, my systems are acting up a little, so... I've got to get checked out. But if you want to meet or... What? No. No, no, I'm fine, man. You can just take care of you. This girl's built tough. Give me a call when you're useful again, okay? All right, I will. Talk to you soon. Open blinds. Good morning, Adam. You have one new message. From? David Sarif. <sighs> Play it. Adam, it's David. I know it's been a while, but uh, after what happened in Prague yesterday... Look, son, whatever reasons you had for not getting in touch these last two years, well, life's too short. I'm leaving for London soon, but uh, give me a call. You saved his vid call number? Yes, Adam. Just activate your TV system. Miller, it's Jensen. It's good to finally hear from you, Agent. You doing okay? Sorry about the downtime. I'll get to the office as soon as I can, but my augs took a hit during the attack. I need to get them worked at. Of course. There's a lot of work ahead of us, Jensen. I'll see you when you get in. Dr. Kohler, I need to pay you a visit. Jensen! Now's actually a really good time for me, like right now! Is something wrong? There are some guys in my bookshop. Pissed off the valley gangster looking guys. So, unless you want bloodshed the day after a terror attack. The front door isn't the most peaceful option. I got it. not give up faith in the church.
Street is off limits, Oyobok. Private function. All businesses are temporarily closed. Stay away from here. Best 
Rest on his back. Get him. Jensen, thank God. I'm down in the dungeon, man. You remember the title of my super secret book, right? I remember it's Ren. Jensen, my favorite techno wonder kind. Sorry about the goons, man. They, uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? They're not gonna be a problem anymore. What did they want? You behind on your protection money? I, I don't think it's about money. I got this little misunderstanding with their boss, Otar. You know how it is with these gangster types. Enough to know that there's no such thing as a little misunderstanding. The Valley internal politics. I... I'm gonna get it sorted. I'm gonna see the big boss myself. As soon as things settle down. The day after a bombing, man, it's... Well, I mean, it's scary, right? I'm surprised people go out at all. Sometimes people don't have a choice. My systems took a hit. I was hoping you could help me get everything running again took a hit? You mean... Oh, shit! Why didn't you say so? We need to get you in the chair. The chair. You know I've always wanted to get a closer look at those saddy fogs of yours. A real close look. So, uh... So let's strap you in, get the gas going, and then, well, then I just need to sort of dive in. Huh? Feel my way around. Let's just get this over with. Relax, Jensen. It's... it's gonna be fine. You... you won't even know I'm in there. You'll feel weightless, far away, like you're someone else. But Kohler's gonna bring you back and make you you again. Before you know it. I swear I didn't mean to... Your retinal display should be back soon. You can still move, huh? What, what did you... I was... I was trying to connect the unconnected. But you got some strange fucking augs back there. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have... Here, let me get you some water. Or something stronger, maybe? Water. You got it, Jensen. Just, uh... Just ease up. Don't freak out. Rebooting was the only way to save you. Save me from what, Cole? Core meltdown. You almost melted my chair. So I reset you, and I found these... these, uh... I think it's better if I show you what I found. Bring up your system display. You need to see this for yourself. These are your implants. 
You're familiar with all these, right? Yeah. David Seraf installed them. Took two years for my body to get used to everything. Right. Well, I had to undo some of that getting used to. What's going on, Kohler? Why do I feel different? Something was trying to vampire the juice out of you. I couldn't figure out what until after the reboot. Turns out your Factory Zero is not the standard Factory Zero. What am I looking at? Experimental fucking test dogs, man. Hidden inside your body. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Pretty cool, right? I'm not sure yet. I want to show you what happens when you activate one of these suckers. your spike in your power consumption. Where the hell did these things come from? I can't answer that. All I know is the explosion must have woken them up. But man, you want to use these crazy fucking things? That's your right. We just got to make sure it doesn't fry you. Now, I think I maybe got an idea on how to do that. Try shutting down one of your other implants. You know, just for fun. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. Jensen, shut down one of the implants you're not using. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. See that? Cooled you right down. You have the power to balance your system if you want. Just, you know, don't activate everything all at once. What would happen if I did? Well, you'd suffer some major glitches due to overheating. We're talking risk of permanent damage. So, you know, maybe don't do that. All right. Reset me now, Kohler. I'll reactivate what I need myself. Okay, so I'm not always gonna be there for you like this. I can't just follow you around to reset things and hold your neural weave together. Whatever choices you make from here on out, they're your choices. But you were supposed to be my AUG expert. I specialize in Chinese black market, okay? The shit I found hidden inside you, spliced into your system like that, looks to me like it's from Mars, man. I'm pretty sure they're not from Mars. I just... I feel bad. You deserve answers I can't give you. I can help manage your system better than anyone in Prague. I help you make the most of the new Augs we just found. But you can't tell me where the hell they came from. As far as I know, David Seraph installed all my Augs. If there's something inside me I don't know about, he's the one I need to talk to. I am familiar with Saris' work. These new hogs, they... they look different to me. I mean, that neodymium shell. Who uses dimorphic magnetoreological fluid like that? Seriously, if you talk to Sarif, you need to ask him that. Shit really stands out. Pretty fucking cool, actually. This tune-up went longer than I expected. Let's wrap this up. Right. Here, take some Praxis kits for the trouble. Praxis solves everything. Keeps customers happy. Just, uh, remember what I showed you about managing your juice. 
It's gonna be a balancing act for you. Well, unless... Unless what, Kolmar? There could be a way to optimize. It's just... It would involve getting something from Altar. A neuroplasticity calibrator. There's a way for me to use everything I have without compromise? I want to know about it. I was hoping you'd say that. I order all my fancy tech from this illegal catalog, right? But... My last shipment got intercepted... by Otar Botkoveli. The same Otar whose men were looking for books out there before? I am not going to force you. I want you to want to do it. I want you to want to be an augmented god among men. If that sounds like something that interests you, then you should know that Otar runs an underground casino in the Chisti district. The entrance is in a small courtyard of Hlavni Street. Thanks for the info, Kolmer. Thanks for the praxis. Jensen, it's Miller. Listen, I need your eyewitness report as soon as possible. What's your ETA? Depends on how many cops ask to see my papers. Fuck. Not much I can do about state police after yesterday's attack. Get in when you can. Miller out. This is not right. On a star. What? The song is in my head. What you're looking for. Plank, I hate watching the news. Who the Hold it, Clank. Let me see your permit and be quick about it. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, officer. What's the matter, eh? I'm holding you up from some important uh, this is a BH847. Is that what it is? Sounds impressive. Are you going to be a problem? Eyes to yourself. Hmm. You are cleared through this checkpoint. Go about your business. Not my problem. I heard you. You'll recommend me at the bank? Well, I always get a little nervous when I go here.
I just gave you. Alex, this whisper chip you gave me, it's an easy plant. You're heading into TF-29? Already? Our enemies aren't waiting around while we lick our wounds. Fair enough. There'll be a data port on the NSN's motherboard. Access it and then just plug and play. Or plug and record in this case. Got it. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, Aria, yeah. It was a close call. I got lucky. A lot of people didn't. I was here working when the first reports came in. It was chaos. Phones ringing off the hook, people yelling, scrambling to find out what was going on. Then when Miller told me you were there, I... I'm alright. Good. You looking for him? Because he's tied up right now and meeting with Leon, I think. Really? He's using the NSN right now? Yeah, I just saw him. Oh, hey. That reminds me, here's yours. What's this? The card for the shooting range. Chang changed all the codes this morning, said something about only giving access to people he's vetted personally. The bombing really freaked him out. Third one in six months, can you believe it? I just... I'm really glad you're okay. Thanks, Aria. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Yeah, I better get back downstairs. It's gonna be a busy day. Come by later if you want to talk. Copy that.
program initiated. Access granted. Singh's got some kind of adrenaline addiction. He plays it too close to the edge. The whisper chip is in. Weird, it's already picking up a freak. Jesus, Adam, is Miller in there right now? Shit, gotta go. Jensen, I need to see you now. Agent Jensen reporting for duty, sir. Tried to do it earlier, but you were on a conference call. Yeah, I was. Should I be worried about you, Jensen? Sorry. That blow you took to your systems. It's not messing with your head or anything, making you do things. I'm not gonna go crazy and start attacking people, if that's what you're worried about. You've been checked out, then. The problem with your orbs is gone. I took care of it. 
Good, good. God knows with all that's happened, I need you at 100% right now. You sounded pissed when you called me in. Everything okay? Don't ever leave the field, Jensen. You'll regret it. As soon as you strap a desk to your ass, you'll be swimming in goddamn politics. The boss is giving you trouble. What? Oh, that. No, the trouble state police. They're pushing us out of the Razika investigation. I want you over there to make sure that doesn't happen. You're putting me on the train station attack? Not Dubai? Forget Dubai. MacReady's handling it. Good. Thought I'd have to fight him to let me handle this one. Whoever planted those bombs yesterday has a lot to answer for. Agreed. And we have to find out who they are before the state police fuck up our crime scene. You said they're trying to push us out? I sent Fletcher in this morning to oversee evidence collection. Seems he's being detained because he hasn't checked in since. They can't lock us out. The Czech Republic signed our UN mandate agreement. They gave us jurisdiction over terrorist investigations. Yeah, well, the former director of their security information services runs state police now. He's come up with a loophole, claiming this attack falls under the homegrown terror exemption. Homegrown? He's saying it's ARC? The Augmented Rights Coalition? I don't care what he's saying. He may even be right. I just want us in there so we can find out. So where do I start? Technically, you're supposed to speak to our psychologist before getting back into action. I don't need a shrink. Convenient, because she's not in the office right now, and I don't want to waste any more time. So how do I get to Ruzika? Public transportation's not stopping there. It will for you once I make a phone call. Head to the metro and call me when you're there. Good luck, Agent. Chip. We got something, but Janus provided the wrong algorithm for the frequencies, so they aren't getting deciphered correctly. Can you fix it? I'm a pilot, not a programmer. I can do it, but it's gonna take some time.
brave new world. Can't even trust the department. All right, Miller, I'm at the metro. Perfect timing. Chang says your private chariot will arrive any time you call up Razika Station on the map. Chang, you had him hack into Prague's public transit company so I can get to Razika. Plan A wasn't working. Jensen, what's wrong? What are you doing here? Miller sent me to find you. Thought you might have run into trouble. He said that? Did he use those exact words? Because it's not my fault! What happened, Smiley? One minute I'm in there running the show, and the next they accuse me of trying to tamper with evidence. Me! Can you believe that? I would never do that, Adam. Never! It's our crime scene. Exactly. But try telling them that. The minute they went for their guns, I decided it was time to shut up and get out of there. They accused me of tampering with evidence. They're probably destroying all the evidence there is right now. <laughs> you know, at first, I thought this was about Sonia. Sonia? Sonia who? Oh, just some girl I've been teaching English to. Turns out her husband is a little territorial. You know the type. Smiley. Right. Back to the case. The thing is, I think I found something in there, something big, something that could just blow this case wide open. I just, I, I just need to get a look at the scan of the blast area, so... Actually, it's a good thing that you're here. I don't suppose you could... Jensen your way in there and grab it for me? We need that evidence. Yes, exactly. That's the spirit. We need it. But you won't be able to just walk in there and ask them for it, since you're Interpol and, you know, augmented. After yesterday's attack, they're not exactly fans of the, uh, hmm. So where do I find it? The forensic team set up camp inside the tourist agency. Or what used to be the tourist agency. Get to their setup, grab the DSD with the scan on it, and get out. Easy peasy. This could take a while, Smiley. Got it. I'll get out of your way, head back to HQ. Good luck, and, uh, uh, let's not tell Miller about this one, okay? Right. We might as well head back. There's no getting through that way. This area is restricted to civilians. I'm with Task Force 29. I thought maybe I could take a look around. You thought wrong. This is a local investigation. You task force guys can go swing your dick someplace else. That's fine, forget it. Done. Bye. Get back. No hands are allowed.
Anomaly detected. Access granted. Initiated. Access granted. Oh, 
fish. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Trzeba to nic není. Hands are faster to worry about. <laughs> 